Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review, sorry, I'm already laughing. We are looking at the Marvel Legends Cassie Lang Build-A-Figure Wave Future Ant-Man. And I forgot this figure existed, so I finally got one to review when I saw it at the store the other day. I didn't buy it originally because I thought, what the heck is this? It's another lazy, crappy Marvel Legends figure, uh, but it has kind of a unique look to it. So I thought, well, it's kind of cool. I don't know. We'll see. And I ended up buying it to review it. So here we go. Future Ant-Man. Let's get this guy off the stand and take a closer look. All right, before we look at the figure, let's look at my package. It is a windowless package. It has him in a pose, which is a little bit weird. You wouldn't think it was weird, but he's got very broad stance, very wide stance. And his elbows are kind of tucked in, but pointing out is a very strange pose, if you ask me. Some very stylized artwork. I'm guessing that's the kind of artwork this guy, it has a very Sentai vibe to me. And this looks like some kind of cartoon. Like, I don't know, maybe it was a stylized run in the comics. I have no idea. I didn't even know this existed before the figure. And then probably the most desirable build a figure. <laughs> oh boy, Hasbro. All right, there's the packaging. Let's take a quick look at this figure. This is not gonna be a full review, in case you're wondering. This guy stands just about 16 and a half centimeters, depending on how you have his head leaned. And that's gonna make him roughly six and a quarter inches here he is up against here he is up against darwin who is definitely having more fun than me right now they're about the same height i guess if you consider there's a helmet on this guy who it's questionable whether a human head would fit in there i'm thinking it probably would just barely okay so uh, question of the day, did you know this character existed <laughs> and did you want the figure of it? All right, uh, I did not and I kind of did just because it's gonna look kind of cool on the shelf just because of the silhouette, but I figured it has to have a good paint job. There's nothing about this that's cool other than the head and the paint job. And it is just the Sunfire body. Uh, so it has details that are nice, but overall the body's not great. Shoulders are low, hips are wide. Like it's, it's kind of a weird looking body. But if the paint job is good enough, I can pose him enough to make him look cool. So here's hoping. That's what I was thinking. Let's dive into the review. Solid black plastic everywhere except for his little, his little nubbins. These are red plastic, but the rest is solid black PVC or I think they use ABS. Anyway, let's look. Is the paint job good? The lines are clean. I'll give them that. The lines are mostly clean, but the paint job is terrible. The red could not be painted worse while having clean edges. That would be the only way to make it worse. If you look at the shoulder, it's a perfect example. It's not opaque at all, except for where there are overlaps. And even then it's not great, but the red is so poorly done. Hopefully it's showing up on camera, but it's it's like you can see the black plastic popping through almost everywhere. It's really, really poorly painted. And then the white yellow spots are supposed to be glowing, I guess but the way they did the yellow on there, it's just enough to make it look like the red paint kind of bled a little bit. Like it doesn't actually look like that, but it doesn't actually look glowing either. It just looks like a bad yellow, white paint job with a hint of yellow. Then there's none down here, so I don't know what's going on. So no, it doesn't have a good enough paint job. This needed to be nailed perfectly. And it's really bad in the abdomen. You can see it's, it gets really thick in the recesses, except for where there's a black spot where there's no paint at all. Does it continue on? Yes, but it's it's very transparent. At least they did a good job back here making it connect, so that's okay. All right, let's look at the head, because the body sucks. The body's no good. The head, they do a good job painting the mouth. It's okay. The silver is not really well placed. It's definitely overshot on this side. And it's not, it's got black poking through too. What the heck? The yellow spots on the side also have the problem, but they look okay from a distance. This is such a basic figure. Oh, by the way, there are no accessories. That's the other reason we're not doing a full on review. It's a reused body with zero accessories. It is only a paint job and a head. That's it. That's it. And also the head, giant cavity, which I mean, what else are they gonna do using a body like this they, with this head? What are you gonna do? But it is not worth your money <laughs> unless you really, really wanted future Ant-Man. It's another blank body with a touch of paint on it, no accessories and a new head. 
Like it has more paint than, uh, what was, what was that guy's name? The nameless one? No. Yes? I can't remember. The blue guy that came with uh, fake Thanos. Um, hmm. Can't think of his name right now. Anyway. No. Just no, Hasbro. Just no. If you're going to do this, at least do the paint properly, but no. No and screw you, in fact. This is bullshit. This is ridiculous. $26 for... They couldn't even give you alternate hands? Oh, and this one doesn't include a Build-A-Figure part either. Did I just get ripped off or did it actually not include... It's supposed to. I didn't get the Build-A-Figure part. Okay, well, I got doubly ripped off because he doesn't have accessories. That's true. But mine didn't come with the Build-A-Figure part. So... Okay. I got doubly ripped off, but anybody who buys this is getting ripped off. So, uh, 0 out of 10. Hasbro sucks. All right, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't subscribed, you should. I have new videos every day, but Wednesday and thousands are already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. In the meantime, keep collecting. Oh, I'm not going to, like, I wasn't going to build the build a figure anyway. So I don't really care that I'm missing the parts, but like salt in a wound sort of situation. You know what I mean? Okay, bye.